bump a hot girl summer, we are about to have a cool boy summer because we about to be in here working on stuff in the air condition and not. What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be installing this Toshiba portable air conditioning unit in my two car garage. It is beginning of April. It still feels good outside. It's like 75 degrees, but I want to get this installed now while I feel cool, number one. And number two, that way when it gets hot, I can stay cool. Uh, here is everything that comes in the kit. Uh, you get the tube, you get the adapter to where it connects to the wall mount, well, the window mount. So if you have like a standard window in your garage or your house, wherever you're trying to install it, uh, this will go there. This adapter goes there. And then, of course, this goes here. And then I believe this ring goes on the back of the unit and then you have a remote control i believe this has wi-fi it has alexa capability scheduling capability all that stuff in my garage i do not have a window so what i'm going to be doing or what i what i think i'm going to do is it's going to go right here in the corner so i'm thinking what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically take a six inch hole saw that I got off Amazon it'll be a link in the description four inch dry vent to use this adapter to adapt the dry vent to the tube and that should be it so I should be able to drill one hole in my wall get this installed plug the unit in and we should be good to go so I got my mark here uh, let's see if anything is behind this part in the wall you can see that it is nothing in the way no insulation uh, no wires no water lines nothing so we should be good to go to full seeing straight through there so this should be about the middle so let's see what ends up on the other side of the wall Alright, perfect. So I don't have a four inch hole saw, but this is maybe like a, a two inch or something like that. So I'm going to use this to get the hole started and then I'll just round it out to be four inches. Alright, a little bit more to go. So the exhaust is in. Let's see how it looks from the outside. So I think that is going to look pretty good. What I'm going to do now is get everything mocked up, get everything cut down to fit, and start getting everything connected. And then I will come back, uh, probably trim the siding, and just kind of silicone everything in to keep critters out. <laughs> going to take uh, some of this silicone put it around here seal it up uh, put the four screws in it and then we're going to move on to the inside of the garage I wonder if I can oh yeah let's try that See if we can get that apart. All right, there we go. Take some of the good stuff, wrap it around, and then that should give us some pretty good sealage. So this should be a tight fit. Can y'all see? 
but it should just slip right in here and it should be a pretty tight fit so I'm just gonna kind of angle it in there and then just kind of roll it and push it and boom there it is and that is a good tight fit and I don't think anything else is going to be needed of this if we well, actually that might work it's, oh we got wheels on it oh I have not read any of the instructions whatsoever so I don't know how any of this stuff goes uh, but that snaps in there and then I'm, I'm guessing that this snaps in here so that's okay yep that's simple enough and then this is going to be the drain so if you want to do a permanent drain then you take this out you take the provided hose stick it in there run it to a drain uh, otherwise you will have to remember to pull this out every now and again and drain it so let's uh roll this into the corner I don't know how far back I can get this. So that's about flush with the my part filing cabinet of random stuff. So let's plug it up and let's see what happens. Alright, so we had a little beepy beep. And let's I guess hit the power button. Zone 62. Uh, all right, little finger finger popped up. Oh God, it's so, so right now it is 78 degrees in here. I'm going to close the garage door. Uh, come back in like 30 minutes and we will see if the temp drops any like I said it's not that humid outside today so it shouldn't be that hard to drop temp in here but also as you saw this garage is not insulated the doors are not insulated so I don't plan on this thing working any miracles but if it can be 90 degrees outside and 75 degrees in here I'm going to take it so it's been I don't know about an hour I right, said so she's still blowing cold, 46, 45, kicking out 45 degrees. When we started off, it was 79. Don't mind the mess in here because it's always messy. And now it is 74. So it dropped 5 degrees in an hour. So I can't hate on that too much. Can't hate on that too much at all. So overall, this install was pretty simple. If I would have had a four inch hole saw, this would have taken like no time. Cause it's literally four inch hole saw. It would have been four inch hole saw, silicone screws, installed, you know, trim the outside, depending on what kind of uh, vent you have and everything, plug it up and go. And that's pretty much it. I mean, can't get too much more simple than that to install one of these units. The biggest thing is just remembering to pull out the drain. If you don't have the drain automatically draining, remembering, ooh, that cold air feel good. Remembering to pull that drain out and uh, drain it every now and again. Uh, but in the next video, uh, since this does have Alexa and Wi-Fi capability and all that stuff, I will go over how I connect it to my Alexa and we can look into scheduling and all that fun stuff. So I look forward to that. But yeah, bump a hot girl summer. We are about to have a cool boy summer because we about to be in here working on stuff in the air condition and not absolutely dying. So yeah, if y'all think about getting one, I say get one. I think this is going to work better than having the garage door up, minimum circulation, 
and just dying in the summertime. So I look forward to working with this this summer. My motto is think, build, enjoy. I didn't think I wanted to be hot. I cut a hole in the wall, so I kind of built something, and I'm definitely going to enjoy this now that I have it. So until next time, peace.